Welcome to Moonshot Radio with your host, Dr. Nivia Torres. Greetings and welcome to Moonshot Radio, where every moment is an opportunity to learn. I'm your host, Nivia Torres, Executive Director of the Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative, also known as KRC. Our vision is that all children in Indian River County will be ready for <laughs> kindergarten. We proudly partner with the Moonshot Moment, who is transforming the next generation in Indian River County by having 90% of all students reading on grade level by the third grade. With me today here in the studio is Shannon Maitland, Community Engagement Manager for the Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative. Shannon, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me, Nivia. It's and, nice to be here. And today, Shannon, is a very special show. This is our holiday show. Yes, it is. And we have two special guests. Yes, I brought my two favorite helpers with us today. Wonderful. So let's hear a little bit from them. Let's mm -hmm. have them introduce themselves. And this young man is? Luke. Luke. I'm... On fifth grade, go to Beachland Elementary School. And how old are you, Luke? I am 10. 10, okay, Luke. And this young lady? Um, my name is Lydia. Lydia, and how old are you, Lydia? Five. Lydia, what grade are you in? Um, uh, kindergarten Beachland Elementary School. Awesome. That's awesome. So thank you both for introducing yourselves. And Shannon, I think these are your children, right? <laughs> yes, these are my two <laughs> wonderful children. <laughs> so Shannon, we had you come today because mm -hmm. in your role as Community Engagement Manager for KRC, you do a lot of outreach work and connecting with parents and sharing valuable information and tips. And who mm -hmm. better than you you have children um, to basically share your insights and your experiences about how you travel, share memories, and get ready for Christmas with your children. Yep, that's the plan today. Uh, Luke and Lydia and I always have a wonderful time at the holidays, and we did some shopping to find some wonderful toys that we recommend for families, and we have some good travel tips as well because we do travel a lot. Wonderful. So we're very excited, Shannon, to have this conversation today. So let's start first with creating memories. We all think about Christmas and we all have special memories of growing up during the holidays, sp spending time with loved ones. How do you create memories with your little ones, Shannon? Oh, we have lots of fun memories, um, but I would say decorating the house for Christmas time is always one of those fantastic times. We put on our Christmas gear and we make the house look nice. And then if we're lucky enough, we get to travel up north to visit family um, shortly after Christmas, which that's always one of my favorite things to see the snow, experience the winter time and just really celebrate the holidays with lots of family and friends. And why do you think, Shannon, we should look at memories as sort of a very special and unique gift rather than focusing on the material gift. Why is that important to share with families? The memories are things that will last a lifetime. Toys and gadgets often get donated or they break, um, but those memories we keep forever and those are, you know, the traditions that we set for our children are often what they're going to carry on for their children in the future. Um, plus, that's what they think of when they think of the holidays. So we always love going to our favorite places and, and just having a good time and really living life and celebrating. That is wonderful to mm -hmm. hear. So, Luke, can you think of a special memory during the holiday? Yes, I can. Um, we went to Legoland one year, and they had this huge, like, 50-foot tree. That's wonderful. And that's something that you remember as a very special time in being with your family. Yes. That's wonderful. Thank you for sharing that, Luke. What about you, Lydia? Mm -hmm. Can you think of a very special time, maybe a place that you visited? Maybe you were on a ride? Um, I... Uh... Played with 
My mom, Luke, and me. Wonderful. Wonderful. That's good. That's yeah. very special. An opportunity to be able to play with family and enjoy yourself without yeah. thinking about the material things. I can think of a special time for me. It was just creating Christmas cards as a family. So we were not buying the store bought brand, but we were getting construction paper, colored markers and crayons and just making our own memories, creating those memories. So Shannon, what other tips do you have for families to create memories? What should people be thinking about? Memories are one of my favorite Christmas presents to give. Um, so what we often do is we talk about our favorite places to go, our favorite things to do, those times when we really have a lot of fun. And then um, sometimes that's what I give them for Christmas. So maybe I'll buy some fancy paper at the craft store or make something on the computer. And then, you know, a trip to the playground or a night out for ice cream, a night out for pizza, a trip to the movies, um, giving those... A, those memories we also <laughs> ask family you know because family always asks what would your children like mm -hmm. so we ask for gift cards to go to different places whether it's um maybe the art museum or the environmental learning center or different places around town we love going to the theme parks which are expensive so anytime family can help um afford help us afford that is wonderful so going to bush gardens or legoland um you know, there are things of all different varieties of prices. We love going to the beach. So mm -hmm. kind of making like a little treasure box or a memory box for the kids as a gift that they get to pull one out and then they get to pick what we do. It empowers them and it's something that we all can do as a family. I just get a warm feeling hearing about that, Shannon, <laughs> because I think that there is such an emphasis now on technology and material things for youngsters. And to think, so let's just think about Vero Beach in Indian River County. And as you mentioned, there's so many things that you can do here for free where you're creating memories. You're going to the beach or you're visiting the park or maybe you're going to the museum on a weekend. You know, sponsor what's local and create memories without necessarily attaching it to something material or to an object. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We do. We have so many wonderful amenities here. I think some of the most fun times we've had have been free, you know, going to the beach or going to the park and watching the clouds and seeing if we can, do, you know, see an animal or a shape in the clouds. Um, Riverside Park is one of our most favorite places to go. We walk the dog there. We watch the sunset there. It's it's always a wonderful time and it's completely free. So we can even pack a picnic and and have lunch there. So I recommend those types of things. And you're getting fresh air and you're getting physical activity. So it's fun and it's good for you and, and it's good for your wallet as well. <laughs> those are all great ideas, Shannon. But if you do decide to focus on something material, I think you brought today some very cost effective alternatives. What are those? Mm -hmm. Yes, um, our children experts here uh, we went to the dollar store and we picked out some items that we recommend and that are approved by the children um, and they were each a dollar so for about 10 bucks we have some wonderful toys here um, do you want to mention some and maybe our helpers here Luke and Lydia yeah. can maybe uh, pick them up and show them as as Shannon's mentioning them. That would be great. Um, you know, for those gross motor skills and that coordination, we got a ball. Um, there's a blue ball here. Yep. Just a nice little bouncy ball. It's a small one, so the kids can play with that outside and even kind of squeeze it like a stress ball. We were even playing catch earlier today. Mm -hmm. Excellent. <laughs> um, another one of our favorites are dice. So the kids can roll that. They can learn about numbers and, and again, get those motor skills in there. This particular dice that we found, if Luke can show us, oh, it's actually got whiteboards on it. Oh. So it's dry erase. So you can write the numbers. You could write letters. You could write shapes. You could write words. You could you, know, you can write anything that you want on there. So then when you roll it, you've, you've got all these different options so Lydia you mentioned you ha where do you have one of these at school you have that at school and oh. what do you do with it at school we didn't get to play with it yet but I think you just roll it and write on it wonderful yeah what a great what a great option okay mm -hmm. what else do we have here Lydia would you like to hold that one up for us we found a, ba a bag of play-doh I believe there are how many are in there 
eight. Eight. Eight different little packs of Play-Doh for a dollar all together. Plus they're different colors and the lid on them even has the thing where you can make little shapes. That is great. What a great mm -hmm. option. What else do we, what is that that you're holding up, Lydia? What What is that? I think it's a good ABC Cokes or something. Those are flashcards. Would you guys like to show us how we use those at home or um, or in the car um, or on airplanes when we're moving? Um, so as a parent with two children, they're five years apart, um, it's kind of tricky because they have different needs sometimes. So being able to do everything that everybody needs is tough. So we found ways that we can work together and Luke and Lydia are a team and they help each other. So um, so we like to go back and forth with the flashcards and usually Luke will hold them for Lydia because they're more age appropriate for her. But we have some multiplication and division flashcards at home as well. So Lydia, if you let Luke hold those flashcards, yep, and then maybe you can tell us what they are. So Luke, hold it up so she can see and then maybe so the camera can see. What is this? Apple and it starts with an A. Perfect. And what color is the apple? Red. Wonderful. Let's do one more. Yes, please. B for bird and it's a B. Awesome. Great. So they you can just work together, as you said, as a team and go C through the flashcards. And again, this was just from mm -hmm. the dollar store, Shannon? Yeah, these were just from the dollar store. And sometimes we even make flashcards at home with, with cons um, construction paper or index cards, which can also be fun. But these ones are cute, and they were only a dollar. They have the nice mm -hmm. little carrying case. They fit well in your purse. Um, we I often have a pack of those in my purse, so when we go out to eat or if we go somewhere and we know that the kids need to sit and be quiet for a little while, something like this is fantastic. And then you saw how they're working together and then you know we could even switch and maybe make you know make a game out of it so maybe luke has to come up with a word that starts with that letter, that letter. to make it a little bit harder a little bit more age appropriate that sounds great we're going to take a break to hear from our sponsors but we will be right back at the kindergarten readiness collaborative our vision is for every parent regardless of income or zip code to have the knowledge and tools they need to raise healthy children that are prepared for kindergarten our mission is to support our partners in developing a high quality early childhood system that is family centered our outreach and parent engagement specialists connect with families and build trusted relationships KRC has chosen Felsmere and Gifford as our two focus areas in Indian River County. Our Felsmere office is located downtown in the city annex, and our new Gifford office is located within Victory Park Apartments. Our administrative offices are now located adjacent to Healthy Start and Treasure Coast Community Health in Vero Beach. The Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative, developing a high-quality early childhood system for all children in Indian River County. For more than 160 years, PNC has been committed to providing their clients with great service and powerful financial expertise to help them meet their financial goals. The PNC Foundation, which receives its principal funding from the PNC Financial Services Group, actively supports organizations that provide services for the benefit of communities in which it has significant presence. The foundation focuses its philanthropic mission on early childhood education and community and economic development, which includes arts and culture. Through Grow Up Great, its signature cause that began in 2004, PNC has created a bilingual 350 million multi-year initiative to help prepare children from birth to age five for success in school and life. For more information, go to pncgrowupgreat.com. Attention residents of Indian River County. The Solid Waste Disposal District invites you to join us for our residential paper shredding event this Saturday. Celebrate Earth Day by having up to three boxes of paper shredded and recycled at no cost. Join us from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Southeast Secure Shredding, a local paper shredding company located at 3910 U.S. Highway 1. Visit us at ircrecycles.com. Roll with us, recycle. 
Are you tired of feeling tired and in pain, working with neck and back pain, have mysterious body aches wearing you down? Let Tranquil and Therapeutic Solutions help you with your healing process. Massage can help the body in many ways, improve circulation, relief for tight muscles, greater flexibility, range of motion, energy, vitality. Tranquil and Therapeutic Solutions will make you feel whole again. 772-696-0290. A member of the ITEX trading community. Your ITEX dollars are welcome. We're back to Moonshot Radio, where every moment is an opportunity to learn. I'm your host, Nivia Torres, Executive Director of KRC. With me today here in the studio, I have some special guests for our holiday show. Shannon Maitland, Community Engagement Manager for KRC, and our friends, Luke and Lydia. Welcome back, guys. Thanks. We're happy to be here today. Shannon, right before the break, we were talking about gifts for the holiday, but really age appropriate educational gifts and gifts Mm -hmm. that are cost effective. And you were sharing some Mm -hmm. great options for us. Anything else that you'd like to share? And maybe some of these gifts are also gifts that we can incorporate during a long trip, because I know you travel a lot with your kids. We do. We travel a lot together. We also travel with our dog. Every summer we drive across the country with him. So we need lots of fun little things to keep us busy uh, in the car, usually three or four days sometimes in the car. Uh, And we need toys that that, um, stay together so they don't get lost. So we brought a, a few of our favorites here that we picked up at the dollar store. Uh, Lydia, would you like to show us the, oh yeah, the puzzle? So Dang. this little puzzle, it's foam, it's got animals, Wait, it's got colors. Oh. So it's got lots of lots of things that we can talk about. We can make up stories with the animals. Um, so it's great. And those pieces are big, which is also nice because we don't want to lose things in a it car on an airplane. Yeah. Excellent. Mm-hmm. And then we have another puzzle here with the letters, which that's one of my absolute favorites okay. because we're talking about the alphabet. We've got different colors incorporated into that. The letters that they'll come out, and then you can even use those kind of as a stencil to trace. Because they're foam, they could go in the bathtub for the kids, which is a wonderful time to get their imagination going. Lydia has foam letters in the tub that she always spells things with, and it's really cute. So we really like those toys, and the uppercase letters here are all pretty nice one-piece so we put it in a in like a Ziploc bag, like the gallon size when we're all done. What mm-hmm. um, I see some shapes. So L- Lydia's showing that. What is that mm-hmm. for, Shannon? Um, the, this is a shape puzzle here. So um, so we could dump it out on the table and then you, know, you find the spot that the different shape goes in. So they're using those little motor skills. Plus they're thinking you've got the colors going on. We've got different shapes so we can talk about pentagons and hexagons mm-hmm. and some of those more uncommon shapes that kids don't. Maybe they see every day. Maybe they notice. Maybe they don't. Um, and then again, it's a conversation starter for the kids and they can you know talk and think about what. What is that shape? Like when we see it, what what's the shape of an octagon, kids? It has eight sides and eight vertices. Good answers. And where would we see an octagon in the real world? On a stop sign, maybe? Yeah. Good one. So we can incorporate little things like that when we talk about the shapes. That is great. That's great. Um, Shannon, you, since you travel a lot with your kids, Do you Mm -hmm. do any preparation in terms of conversations that you have with them to let them know this is where we're going to be and this is how we behave in this particular place? Most definitely. We do a lot of preparing for traveling. We even prepared before we came here today because this is not something that we normally do. So the kids and I, we always talk about, you know, what do you think it's going to be like? What do you think it's going to look like? Who's going to be there? So we get them thinking, and then I help fill in the gaps or maybe adjust those thoughts a little bit so that they know what's what's going to happen. We also talk about what kind of behavior we're going to be on, and if there are certain parts of the trip where we need to be on better behavior than others. Um, for example, when we fly, right? Flying, you're in the car for a couple hours to get to Orlando. Mm -hmm. And then once we get to the airport, we're there for a while longer waiting through the security lines. And we always talk about, you know, you need to be on your best behavior 
because what happens in the what happens when we're traveling, guys? Sometimes people ask you to take off your shoes. Mm. Yep, yeah, they might also ask you to take off your jacket. Jacket. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we talk about how you need to listen to these folks. We need to re- be very respectful, and we just need to do what they ask. So that to me is important because I don't want the kids to be worried or scared or have a meltdown in the security line or we want to safely and smoothly get onto our flight. So preparing them ahead of time so they're not surprised, I think is really important. And the expectations for their behavior of, you know, this is where we're going to be. You need to be quiet when we're here. We can talk later when we're in the car. Um, you know, we always need to take that potty break before we get on the plane so that we so that uh, we don't have to go together. <laughs> so things like that, I really try to help lay it out so that they're not surprised and they're not scared. They know what to expect. Shannon, those are some great tips for parents to think about. Really having those honest conversations beforehand, preparing the little ones for that new setting that might be exciting, but it's a foreign setting. It's something that they probably haven't experienced. We have a little time left, and I'm going to ask Luke to help us with some story time. I know that there's a holiday book. Maybe there's something that he can read where we can sing along. Um, So is there something that we can do with this book, Shannon, you think? Sure. This is another book we got from the dollar store, and it's a holiday theme. Luke likes reading to Lydia, so I try to incorporate that as well. Luke, do you want to pick one of the pages or one of the songs, and maybe we can read it together, sing it together? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what everybody should know. Okay. Jingle bells. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see if we know this one. Ready? Set. Go. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! That's wonderful. (laughs) Thank you for sharing that with us. And I hope that these ideas really are helping parents plan for the holidays. Shannon, these are really some great tips. They're very cost effective. And what I really like is that there's nothing related to technology here. Correct. And I know you (laughs) indicated that you do use technology sometimes during your trips, But you really want to focus on this with your children. That's absolutely correct. We have a DVD player that's portable. We have video games. We bring them with, but they're usually our last resort. So if the kids are really tired, they need a break, we use those. But we try really hard to to play with all of these other toys, have good engaging conversations. I think we have some of our best conversations in the car. Right. Because as a parent, I'm not worried about the dishes or the laundry or cleaning the house. We're just focused on the road and each other. So. um, So, (laughs) yeah, we try very hard not to do technology. But of course, eventually we use it. Um, We also use a lot of music in the car, too, for anybody traveling. If you have kids songs and favorite CDs one of the best ways to pass the time or sing jingle bells <laughs> like we just did so exactly yeah. <laughs> so if folks want more information they can certainly visit our facebook page mm-hmm. thank you all for joining me today this was a very special show um, i really appreciate the time i know that we learned a lot about planning for the holidays so i thank you luke Lydia, Shannon, thank you so much. Thank you for the work that you do with families in Indian River County. Thank you for all the help that you provide. It's an honor to do so. Thank you. Thank you, folks. So let's, we'll sign off by saying Merry Christmas. Merry Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas to everyone. And until next time, this has been Moonshot Radio, where every moment is an opportunity to learn.